Welcome back to another beautiful day in Project Zomboid. It's Roland here, and today we are kicking off right outside the house we left off in. It's minus 7 degrees. We're struggling. It's the 21st of December. It's very cold and only going to get colder, which sucks. Can't remember if there was anything actually exciting in here other than those seeds. Just have a quick check. Nah, I think we're all good. I think we're all good. All right. I think today I'm just going to continue exploring. So if we... Ah. Okay. That could maybe change things. Let's mark this on the map just whilst we're here. So today where I would like to get to is... Uh, what do you call it? Rosewood. Let's just mark... Oh well. I would like to get to Rosewood. So if I continue straight up this road, we should... Should get to a main road. I think I know where I am. Yeah, here we go. Um, follow it down for a little while and end up at some warehouses. Might be wrong. Kind of big potential of me being wrong, but we'll see how we go. Let's see how we go. Be nice if we can build up a little stockpile of food along the way as well. Ah, we're not going to be able to. So at least we can eat though. At least we can eat. Uh, what spears have we got? Have we got any? No. We don't really have a lot of anything. Not really. But we can kind of build supplies along the way. But yeah, I wouldn't mind either getting to Rosewood or maybe shooting over to Ekron. Ekron could be a good shout, to be fair. It's been a while since I've been there. It would make for a little bit more excitement. That place tends to be an absolute killer. So if we can maybe get there and secure that instead of Rosewood, it would be a welcome change. It's been a very, very long time since I've been there. And starting up there definitely never happened. But yeah, for now, I think I'm going to try and head to those double warehouses. Maybe hit the military town. Try and get some knives or something just so we have a bit of a standard point and then see how we go. Nice little roadblock too. Fingers crossed there's something of value in there. This is such a long... Oh Christ. It's not expecting you guys at all. I need to be more careful. <laughs> it's going to be a very short CDDA, CDDA otherwise. We don't want that. Not at all. Get out of here. All for y'all. Alright, where's the first guy? There you are. And one big good night to you, my friend. Uh, maybe not. Still a, still a big old scaredy cat. Big old scaredy cat. That's not good. Really not. Duffel bag. We've already got one. Battery is good, though. Pretty sure I've got everything else. Oh, now that. That we're reading before we leave. That's a game changer. So it's going to be incredibly valuable in getting more food for us. Um, kitchen knife won't fit. Classic can of sardines. We are very, very over overfilled. Do not like that one bit. Yeah, we need to read this book before we even leave this house, I think. Are we a slow reader? Did I take that? Yeah, of course I did. Be way too easy otherwise, wouldn't it? Uh, thread. You can come with us. Did I bring the needle? Of course not. Why would I? Way too convenient. Ugh. Okay, time to spend the next probably half a day reading. Gonna do it in a hall like a civilised man. Keep our panic down, nice open space. Yeah, let's get this book done. We're a trapping beginner. Just what we like. So I'm kind of hoping that will actually come in very handy. Um, have some canned sardines. And then we need to get some sleep because, yeah, we've got a long day ahead of us. I'll see you guys in the morning. Let's go see what our lovely neighbour has to offer. So there's one just a little bit further up. Two roads, actually. It could be either way. Let's try... Try this way first. So I'm guessing that would be like a tool shed or something. Ah, could be the other way around. Either way, I'll take a tool shed. A trowel. Nice. Another trowel and another shovel. Beautiful. 
So that shovel's definitely going to be where I've taken. Annoyingly, we already have one and zero carry weight to take any more. Starting to wish I took that organized tray even more. Hey up, fellas. Who's going to jump out at me today? This is a very nice house. Sugar, great start. That's going to clear our hunger 100%. Mac and cheese, perfect for the road. Yeah, there you go. Stuffed. Should have kept hold of that. Yeah, did a big silly with that. But that's okay. Life goes on. Can of peas. Yeah, instead we're just going to end up heavily overloaded with tins. Carpentry one, we've already read. Foraging one, we don't actually need anymore. Would have been handy about a week ago. Um, any more for any more. Someone was saying about the burning properties of toilet paper the other day. Apparently it lasts for about six hours. I might test it out actually. See if that's been fixed or if it's still a ridiculous burner. Toilet paper. Add fuel, toilet paper, 12 minutes. Ah, six hours. That is outrageous. I'm going to leave that there for a potential future survivor. Never know who's going to who's gonna be in a jam and need to burn six hours worth of toilet paper. That's pretty good. Oh, belt. That would have been so handy a little while ago. Any more for any more vitamins? Oh, there's a half empty. We may as well take a full one. The rest we don't really need. Toy bear. You'll be fine with your dolls. Really hope for some leather trousers. Pipe wrench. Oh. Let's replace the one in our belt. Just knocks us overweight, which sucks, but... It is going to be handy. Oh, man. You are a pain in just everything. Okay. Uh, kind of tempted to leave the tank kit behind. Are we really going to need it? I guess if we go to Ekron, we might. just make a little note. Uh, where are we? Circle. Tent. Not yent. Tent. Nice. Okay, we're not too far out. I just need to follow this main road down. Did we go to that? Not sure. I'm going to head there. Yeah, we did. Place is completely open. Okay, at least we can rest and move on. Yeah, get back to the main road and then just follow it down for days. That tent kit's going to come in handy. That's going to be perfect for those warehouses. Let's go let's go, full return and go and get it back. We made it to the main road. I did just cut straight through the woods, so I'm kind of hoping we haven't come up too high and we just end up walking for miles. But, oh, almost knocked over a glass of water. <laughs> perfect on my desk full of electricals. Here we go. This should be the road that will take us right to where we want to be. A couple of strays. Maybe just leave those guys to it. So I wouldn't mind working on our sneaking skill a bit whilst we're out here. If we can go into a town or sneaky, it'd be a game changer as opposed to going in very loud. Could be worth doing some foraging whilst we're out here too. Probably should have done that at the place with the whale, but it's all good. It's all good. We'll be alright. Found a lug wrench in a busted car. It's going to come in handy so Here we go. Perfect place for a claustrophobic man. Just hope it's unlocked. So it'd be nice to... At least just set up the tent. There we go. Nice. Leaf rake. Nothing exciting. I remember once upon a time when these were all just full of weapons. Used to make rosewood that just a little bit better. Uh, nothing in here except a bunch of zeds. Already overfilled on weapons, we may as well just try and break some off. Especially the pipe wrenches. Single use. 
No brainer. Nice shirt. Anything else? No. It's all good. Now for the for the main event. Got a hammer, rope, wood glue. Big finds. Another lug wrench. Uh garden saw. Nothing too crazy, but quite handy to have as a backup. Okay. Best thing to do from here would probably be sleep. So I reckon I reckon we turn this into a little stockpile just for at least a day or two. Get everything kind of rounded up in one area and then head out, I guess. All our seeds. So I wanna wanna go and loot the military base just around the corner. So if we can do that and keep ourselves kinda high and dry, be ideal. Uh, nails we don't need, duct tape we probably won't need. All of the weapons I'll keep hold of just in case. So it could get pretty dicey down there. And the food I'll take as a backup. Kitchen knife we don't need. Nice, alright. I reckon spend the night here, see how we go in the morning. Might go do some foraging to be fair. Great start already. Found some food. Can't remember if that stuff's poisonous or not, so we may as well just test it. Come to me, Snowberry. Ah, it's a beauty berry, isn't it? I think they might be poisonous. Ah, oh, well, we're about to find out. Found chipstone in a tree branch. We all know what that means. We're getting an axe, baby. We are getting an axe. Did find a chipstone on the road, though. So I kind of thought... Kind of thought you could only find them in the forest, but apparently not. Guess this game's changing a lot faster than I'm keeping up with. But yeah, found it just just on the gravel, which does kind of make sense. We can get a few more of those. Be very nice. Yeah, tree branches. There we go. Tree branches, chipstone, and probably some rags now that we've got that. Hello. Ah, oh, two of you. That could mean ambulance nearby. Ah, it does in fact mean ambulance nearby. Wonder if he's got the key. Or if he's just just a passerby. Nothing on you. He's got the key. Perfect. Uh, does that mean we can get in or is it too battered? Kind of thinking siren. Nice. Two keys. Perfect. No real value though. Trauma bag. Heavy duty wheel. That is way too handy. Nothing to gain from there though. Uh, we did see one just in the tree line here, didn't we? Another tree branch. Perfect. Nice. Nice. Alright, I reckon shift all the gear out of this that is valuable. There's two trauma bags. Got another needle in there as well. Take that wheel. Dump that all in the shed, I reckon. It's got to be the way. Keep this as our little stockpile. Or whilst it's pitch black, oh, I'm going to spend the night in our tent. We'll make, make a little plan for the morning. Figure out what we're going to do. Maybe make an axe just whilst we're here. Yeah. Stone axe could be a game changer. Would like to get our carpentry a bit higher too, but we can figure that out when we're up. I'll see you in the morning. We've got a kitchen knife. We've got six branches. Kind of only means one thing, doesn't it? Create spear. Ooh, five. Nice. That should be perfect for getting us into the base around the corner. Um, we are very full. Very full. Let's leave a metal pipe behind. So I'd much rather work my way through these spears than anything else, really. Equipping both hands. I guess we could leave a pipe wrench as well. Which one's more battered? That one. Let's see your clean pipe wrench. Uh, anything else we don't need. Guess we can take you. Uh, maybe leave the shovel behind. 
yeah. Should probably move those trauma bags and stuff in here. That's probably the better idea, I reckon. Get you in there. You're still on the back. But yeah, we got got a nice little stockpile in there, to be fair. I guess we could keep it separate. We got a trauma bag with a good amount of gear. Stutcher needle and needle holder. A couple of car bits, plus a lug wrench somewhere. Should move that into the crate as well. But yeah, we're doing all right. I think, think heading out to the military area is the best way to do it. It's kind of like, we've been there a million times, but if you haven't checked out any other series before this, it's kind of like a base kind of thing, but a resting area. There's like eight little houses plus a big old community building at the top. I'll show you when we get there. Yeah, You're about to see it all. I don't need to explain it. Here we go. Build number two of eight or ten. Not too shabby. A lot of trees down here though. Can get a little bit dicey. But yeah, I'm fingers crossed for a lot of food. Anything to keep us going basically. I think what I would very much like to do is just get our weight down. Maybe get our fitness up before we head out. Just to take the world by storm. I don't really want to be gasping for air every five minutes when we leave. I could really do without it. Red pen. Would have been jumping for joy if we didn't already have one. Don't know why, they're just, just my favourite. Could be worth doing some carpentry while we're down there. If we can find a book, be ideal. First said, last man standing. Perfect to break off a spear on. Uh, anything in here? There's a handful of food. Nothing too crazy, really. So I'm not really looting any of it just yet. Just kind of getting a getting a rough idea. Ooh, you're handy. Be even handier if you just go in the bag. There we go. <laughs> Fishing level one. Going to be very handy. Take that before I forget it. Comic book. That eraser could be nice. Can pineapple. I'm going to eat you just, just for the sake of it. I'm a hungry boy. Always love the camp pineapple. And I do absolutely love a camp pineapple in real life too. Oh, no way. There isn't too many. Could be off to a winner. Crafty, crafty spear. Two down. We are not using that window either. If I can get him through this one, it'd be a little bit nicer. Make a racket in the process. Draw out as many as we can. And then we play the risky game, don't we? Uh, I guess we could come through that one. Ah, they busted down the front door anyway. Nice. Still though, three planks. Can't complain. And a shotgun. Ah! Oh! Kinda hoping that was a nightstick there too, but it's not. Just a handgun. Christ, your spears are not good at all. Come on, fellas. Okay, we've got a duffel bag at least. That's going to get all of the gear home. It's a pretty good start. Duffel bag number two. Hello, beautiful. Uh, anything else? JS2000 shotgun. That'll complement our shotgun shells perfectly. Let's just grab that for now. Shift some gear over and leave it on the ground somewhere. That'll be handy. Maybe not right this second, but it will be handy. Let's get you back, back and back in tow. They tore that down very quickly. I thought there'd be a lot more, but apparently not. Foraging level one again. Not what I want. Oh. 
Take that hand axe all day long though. Very, very small survivor's house, but that hand axe with the wood glue is worth worth a thousand houses. Two more houses before we get to the main deal. So far, we've actually done alright. So not doing too crazy on food, but we're also not doing too bad. Weapons wise, big old win. Hot is he in a tissue. You dirty dog. You dirty dog. Let's just head on down to the neighbour. Nothing too crazy. Good bit of food in there though. Anything else in you? That metal working book. Absolutely. We got a, a good bit of reading out of this at least. Can't grumble at that. Oh, what are they? Just pants. Saw on black. Fingers crossed for the black leather pants. But nah, not today. Time to head up to the main event. I am banking on a world full of hunting knives. I feel like I'm not going to find a single one. I got one little commando Z. Perfect. What your trousers looking like, my boy? Not that great. But I'll probably put them in the lockbox anyway. One hunter knife. Perfect. And we're almost filled to the brim. Even better. Oh, the aviators, though. Never turned down the aviators. Oh, he didn't even take them off. What a guy. What a guy. One locked door. Military green camo shorts. Shame. Oh, yes. You little beauty. You little beauty. Bring on better weight management. Better weight reduction. Everything. Dreamy, 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 dreamy. Alright, we got one room we couldn't get into. Let's head round to the back window. And we're in. What a beauty. Any more for any more military green shirt? Nah. Not that strong. Not that strong. No groups down there either. It's always nice. Just the odd Z. I wish you could put ponchos over things. Really makes me sad that you can't. There's probably a mod out there for it, but... Yeah, I just wish you could. Box of 45 rounds. Not the 9 mils I was hoping for, but... Can't grumble too much. Boonie hat. Again, quite cool. Does kind of suit him as well, doesn't it? <laughs> Get out of here. Need to stop charging into rooms. One of these days I will learn that's a terrible idea. Right, this wasn't actually that successful, but... It does look cool. It does look cool. I think I prefer the boonie over... To be fair, I'm not even a fan of that anymore. <laughs> Just the aviators. Yeah. That is the way. That is the way. Right, have we got anything up here? A Zed. Oh, with a military pack. Come on, I'll let you hop out. I don't want to damage those gloves. Oh, what a beauty. Military green camo jacket. Yes, please. And yeah, all day long, all day long. Oh, that is unreal. Honestly, unreal. Uh, what happened to the big old bag? Oh, I'm going to take that anyway. What's that thing that's fully open? Nothing. Hmm, strange. Uh, no thread, vegetable oil, jockey chips. Oh, that's unreal. What a find. I was kind of hoping to find one, but I wasn't that confident. But there you go. What a game changer that is. Tortilla chips. Oh. Could not have asked for more out of this. Really could not. Oh, what a way to turn it all around. Another pipe wrench. Hell of a find. Well, that is pretty bad at battered. Let's maybe just replace those two. Probably don't need the plunger, I'd say. Fill up our bottles and take out those who remain. 
Any more spears? Couple more spears. I'm not gonna stab you this time. Ah, just as battered anyway. Oh, we can repair it. Okay, that's cool. I can work with that. Um, there you go. You can have your jacket back. Thank you dearly. Oh, what a find. What a find. I think this one is just another bar from... We have a sewing kit though. Can't grumble too much. Any thread is good thread. Anyone hiding? Be surprised if there is, but... Never be too careful. Nice. Okay, that is honestly unreal. I did take that big hiking bag tonight. Yeah, ah, just the standard hiking bag. All right, I'm going to get loaded up. Just, yeah, fill up on all the food, all the hand axes, just all the good stuff, basically. And then we can hightail out of it. Might just do it with this, too. Get it all in our offhand. No point adding the weight to our back if we don't need to. Just like that, this place is cleared out. We should probably cross it off the map. Perfect addition to our nice little trail. It's going well. It's, yeah, it's been, been a bit of a wild ride so far, but we're doing okay. So we've got a fair bit of gear saved up, uh, a whole lot of food in the bag, which is just unreal. That hand axe is the biggest game changer. We've got a tube of wood glue on us. Ah, so we do. Don't remember grabbing that, but that's going to be a huge help. So I wouldn't mind... Wouldn't mind maybe just clearing some carpentry beforehand, but I don't think that's really going to happen, if I'm honest. But yeah, I mean, least we can do is drop all this gear off, get at least a small base set up in one of these, just so we're, you know, somewhat prepared if we do have to make a little tactical retreat. But yeah, for the most part, it's all actually coming along quite well, surprisingly. Wouldn't mind getting some... Uh, crops growing out here as well. So I might just shift all of this over to equip secondary, equip primary, unload whatever good gear we've got. That way we don't really have to use this and we can just fall back into the main building and have everything there waiting for us. Almost makes too much sense to me. Anything else? Guess a screwdriver could be handy for a spear. Last resort and all that. Not too shabby though. Not too shabby. Not going to bother unloading these. Let's just get them all placed in a nice little line. Perfect. And as for you... Guess we better make them feel somewhat included, eh? Nice. Lovely. Okay. I reckon we could finish up the day with some foraging. How are we looking for the foraging skill? Pretty good. Coming up to level 3. So I wouldn't mind getting that to maybe level 4. If we can. It's a bit of a... Bit of a long old skill without books. But it works. And it works surprisingly well. Especially when you start picking up stuff that quickly whilst just on the move. Can't complain. Had a pretty successful haul. We got six branches in our main inventory, four branches in the bag, a whole lot of chipstone, which I'm very, very excited for. Let's just pull all of these out and then we can make a nice little stack. Ah, only four. Fair enough. I mean, I think I've got an. Oh, yeah, okay. Got you. That is just the ones from the main bag. Makes sense. Okay, let's just keep adding and adding. Ah, that's not good. End of the land, boys. One more chipstone. Gonna go get some rags as well. I'm pretty sure we need rags to make axes. If we can go in strong with three axes, we'll be laughing. Uh, I should probably rest first. Start getting very tired, which meant our exhaustion is just gonna be there forever. Yeah, not really ideal. But yeah, there were a few Zeds just down this road, weren't there? All the nightgowns and stuff. Ah, ah, there it is. I knew I saw something. Yeah, I figured uh, searching on the road for chipstone is pretty good. Probably the best way we're going to get a lot of stone out of it. And yeah, the more of that we get, the better. I uh, can't really rip you up. 
definitely rip you up. A whole lot of naked Zeds being left in our wake. Definitely says something about the man. Don't know what, but certainly says something. <laughs> uh, we are absolutely battered. Exhausted, hungry, in pain. Not very ideal, but almost the perfect way to wrap up the episode. So I think on that mighty fine note, me and the future Axe Slayer are going to love you and leave you just there. Thanks for watching. Massive thanks to the members supporting the channel. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed, hopefully. Stick around for the next one. Peace.